Hello Commanders and welcome to part 29 of the Rise of the Ottoman Empire series. Today is the weekend, I have time to upload. I'm sorry guys, I was extremely busy during the week, but now I will do my best to keep posting and continue the fight versus Saudi Arabia. It's going to be heated, it's going to be intense. As you see, Saudi Arabia is getting so much lands in the Middle East. He is meters away from my homeland cities in Turkey, but I'm still fighting. I'm still defending my homelands with my remainings of my air force. Just a small recap about what happened in the few last episodes. Saudi Arabia, without any warning, has declared war on me. Like he was preparing for an invasion, for a huge invasion with land forces, a lot of mobile tanks, Max level motorized infantry, anti missile systems, multi rocket launchers, a lot of fighters, and he made a huge invasion. Also, he cut my all of my helicopters under an ICBM with a little mistake. I was patrolling, and my uh, helicopters has been um, rebasing in another city in Aleppo, and an ICBM has fallen on my helicopters. I lost all of them, and that was actually a huge hit there. As you can see here, Saudi Arabia is going rogue here. He is sending everything he has, a lot of air security fighters, max level we are talking about. Dude has ICBMs, cruise missiles. He has the full package, to be honest, because all of the game, now we are in day 71, Saudi Arabia he did not engage in any wars, like in big wars. He has a lot of colonies, he has a great production, resource production, and he had all the time in the world to build a huge army so here we are fighting we are not letting down but romania is still static he is in iran and he did not help yet i am waiting for her for his support actually but i will continue fighting alone uh, a lot of our followers in the comments in the previous videos has urged me to not let down. If you need to use a little bit of gold to survive, use it. So I'm not going to use gold yet until I do as much damage as possible to Saudi Arabia. If gold is an option, I will only use it if I am 100% sure that I am going to die. Like after like 71 days fighting a whole coalition suffering every day and later on we die like this no no we are not going to die we are going to do our best here to win at least to have a chance to win okay i am trying to target his um isolated infantry all over because he's trying to get lands with his infantry he has a lot of anti-air so i'm going to avoid his anti-air you see here my elite attack aircraft has snapped one motorized infantry there he is targeting my uh, national guard he killed it with his fighters he has a huge tank division uh, entering the city of al qaim i cannot touch that one because it has anti-missile system it has anti-air so basically it's going to be it's going to be bad if i go there i'm going to avoid uh, air to air contact with his max level air security fighters it's not going to be good he launched an ICBM on my capital Ankara, but my mobile sam launchers has killed it. You see that? He lost an ICBM. So now I'm targeting his tank division that is so close to the city of Aleppo. He lost some motorized infantry there and an ICBM. I'm going to focus the, f the fire of my elite attack aircrafts on his uh, isolated forces that doesn't have anti air in him. And uh, with the tank divisions that has on tier, we will see what we are going to do about that. That is uh, a subject for later. You see a lot of mobile tanks, like dress infantry, anti-missile systems. Yeah. These are our uh, navies uh, getting close to the Myanmar naval bases. And my elite battle group is going to the... I'm sending him to the naval bases of Saudi Arabia. I need to get a good naval battle there versus Saudi Arabia, especially that he has cruisers, destroyers, he has everything there. So I do not want those uh, battleships to come to my shores. I need to keep them in the Persian Gulf or the Red Sea in order to keep him busy there. Look at that, look at that guys. 
Look at that. Saudi Arabia is sending a wave of cruise missiles on my capital, Ankara. He lost around 3 S-30 fighters under this process because my mobile sound launchers has detected his fighters. So he lost 3 max level uh, S-30 fighters and of course now he's going to lose the remainings of his um, cruise missiles because my level 5 underground bunkers in Ankara and my uh, 5 max level mobile sound launchers, they are enough to take down all of his cruise missiles. Yeah. Let's watch what is going to happen here. Look at that. A level 5 underground bunker. That is going to make my buildings untouched, intact. Even though an ICBM lands on my city, no building is going to be touched. Where there are few buildings that are under the protection of a level 5 underground bunker. Look at that. Saudi Arabia is attacking us from all the sides. That's amazing. The green notifications, the Saudi Arabian cruise missiles that are falling like birds from the skies. What do you suggest we should do now, guys? What do you suggest under these circumstances? You are looking in front of you, the Saudi Arabian tanks, they are coming to Ankara. He is getting land as fast as possible. So in this case, with the means on board, what do you suggest we need to do? Look at that, he's spreading his motorized infantry all over, he has these uh, tank divisions. Uh, Romania, you see that he is overstacking near Tabriz in Iran, like he's, he's not moving yet. Is he going to move before we die? Like, he's going to defend Ankara? Well, we never know. Here, Pakistan is on the move with motorized infantry and mobile on tier. My uh, National Guard has been cut off there, so it's going to die. His 10th tank division has crossed over El Qaim and now it is so close to my homeland city of Diyar Bakir. Well, he is moving too fast there. Also, my elite attack aircraft, they are on the move 24 on 24 hours, like all the time I am deploying them. I only have a stack of 5 and another stack of 2. Uh, they are exhausted after all because uh, with every attack, I get a little damage from the anti-missile systems of Saudi Arabia. So the damage of the attack point defense of the land forces and the attack, def uh, attack point of the anti-missile systems. At some point, my air force is going to be uh, exhausted. Like, yeah, but for how long my elite attack aircraft, they are going to hold. For how long they are going to hold. Here, Iran, uh, India. India is moving and crossing all over Europe. Annoying me with one motorized infantry. Like, look at that. That's super annoying. This is the situation of the map. It's all red. Like, we are against a full coalition, like, coalition of five. This is complicated. I know we are in a complicated situation. This is why I'd like to discover what you guys think under such circumstances? What are your advices? If you were in my place in the second, what would you do? This is what I am interested to know. Okay, I am targeting those infantry to stop them from getting to my cities. Especially that most of those cities, they are annexed. So basically when he is taking lands, he is he is sending a huge knockout on my resources production, which is um, yeah critical at this situation to keep the production. Especially now that the components production is going so low, I cannot make any more air force anytime soon. It's getting tight by time, yeah. My stealth air security fighters, they are. They are patrolling over those uh, infantry to see where they are coming. But well, we are at the end of today's episode. The next one is going to be episode 13. We will see what is the fate of this map and this war versus Saudi Arabia. Don't miss that and let's meet in the next one. Bye bye guys.